Hello, I'm Kilogolf2 Charlie, also licensed as LZ1 AMA, and today I'm going to share a quick tip on how to waterproof your PO259 and SO239 connectors when you use them outdoors. Stay tuned and please subscribe if you'd like to get notified about more videos like this one. Okay, let me show you how I seal the connectors using electric coat tape. Here I have a piece of RG213 coax with a PL259 crimp connector installed on it. And I have a SO239 adapter to SO239. First thing you do is obviously you screw the connector on. You insert and screw on. when you have a good connection, and I mean mechanically good, you get your tape. I use the 3M Super 88 tape, but you can use also cheaper 3M tape, but not the really cheap one. Uh, get Use good electrical tape for this. It will last you longer. So, first you need to put a layer of tape starting from below where the connector begins and you make sure you lay it on top of itself so it can seal with with, uh, with itself properly and if you notice and that's the important bit here I am making sure that the sticky part is facing out that allows the tape to still seal with itself because I'm overlaying it on top of each other by about half of the tape but it does not stick to the connector only sticks to itself then once I've applied the first layer of tape and properly sealed the connector and to the equipment I'm connecting to I apply a second layer of tape this second layer will make sure that nothing sticks to what I've created here and will seal even better than the first layer uh, could and now we will get a nice shiny finish on the outside we won't feel any of the sticky residue on the outside or the inside of this. And this way, this connector, once we remove the tape someday, when we want to change the connector or change the coax or connect something different, it will look brand new. Because no water will get in, no sticky residue will get on it, it will be perfectly preserved inside. An additional benefit is that this is very easy to remove also. There's nothing sticky on the outside, just have to find the edge of the second layer that we put in. You remove that tape, and once you remove it, it even, it even grabs the first layer because uh, they were glued to each other the first layer's glue was facing out. So we keep removing and voila! All the tape is out in one piece. There's nothing sticking to the connector. It was sealed properly. And this is an excellent and cheap way of doing it without any fuss with other materials. Just some high quality electrical tape and two minutes of your time to get a good sealed connection. Thanks for joining me on this episode on how to seal your UHF connectors. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to the channel so you can get notified when I post new videos. Bye bye and 73 from Kilogolf2Charlie, also licensed as LZ1AMA. Bye bye.